welcome address to you all on behalf of the class of 2020. So many unprecedented events have taken place over the past few months. Situations and events which are beyond our understanding and control. We have learned to adjust to new and efficient approaches, learning new things and concepts in different ways, struggling to adjust to each new demand. This memorable afternoon will be indelible in our minds as we think of all the changes and transitions we have experienced. We have experienced many challenges as simple as learning to tie our laces to telling the time. Yes, and we also learned academic and life lessons. This afternoon, it is my pleasure to welcome our chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Patrick McIntosh, our principal, Mrs. Tasha Rice, our guest speaker, Mrs. Empress Golding, and specially invited guests, teachers, administrative and ancillary staff, family, friends, and fellow students. We would like to thank all those who made a remarkable and conscious effort to make this a happy and successful occasion and to share in our wonderful memory. COVID-19 can take nothing from us. We are marching into the future, into the wider world to fulfill our goals and dreams. Thank you for joining us today. Fidelita. Our chairman, Mr. Patrick, McIntosh will now bring greetings from the St. Hughes Prep School Board of Governors. Madam Principal, all protocol being considered as observed. I bring greetings to the St. Hughes graduating class of 2020 and to all persons in attendance. Teachers, staff, parents, guardians, relatives, friends, and well-wishers. I believe we can all agree that this has been a tumultuous year of change. Look at us having our graduation in a form and format that very few, if any, would have imagined a year ago. Everything was normal from the start of the school year until March when the whole world became topsy-turvy with the coming of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have all had to learn very quickly and continue to learn new behaviors and it seems that this is here to stay for a little while yet. In a changing environment, the capacity to adapt and adapt quickly is very important for one's survival. On the 12th of March, our school environment changed in the space of 24 hours. A major part of a school like St. Hughes Prep's responsibility is to give our graduates a solid foundation on which to build the next phase of their lives leading ultimately to becoming responsible, contributing citizens of our society. Part of that foundation building is how to deal with change. Based on all that has transpired and the results achieved, I offer congratulations on behalf of the Board of Governors to you, the 2020 graduating class of St. Hughes Prep School. It is also fitting to give thanks and express appreciation to all our teachers and St. Hughes Prep staff, led by our principal, Ms. Sasha Wright, and to a very supportive group of parents, led by a dynamic PTA executive, for bringing us successfully through this difficult and challenging period. As an advocate of the importance of partnership between home and school, this experience only helps to reinforce my own belief in the concept. As you graduates go off in pursuit of the next phase of your lives, I invite you to consider this quotation from the poet Gallic. And the quote reads, for the raindrop, joy is entering the river. Or some might say, joy for the raindrop is entering the river. It is like saying a single act of kindness, like a single drop of rain might have no noticeable effect but millions of raindrops falling together can form a force capable of breaking through the strongest dam. In the same way, the accumulated impact of a million acts of kindness channeled by shared 
purpose, shared intention, can break through the barrier of selfishness and flood the earth with a new goodness. That is the potential you each have within yourselves. We wish each one of you all the best for the future. Keep safe. Have fun. Fidelitas. And now it is with great pleasure that I welcome on screen our principal, Mrs. Sasha Wright. Normally, by the time we get to graduation, Mrs. Wright has already made her report three times, and I always look forward to see how she's going to tweak it and make it fresh and exciting. This corona year, however, she has previously presented her report eight times, and we all know practice makes perfect. So it is with delight that we anticipate her perfectly presented principal's report. Mrs. Wright? Good afternoon, members of the Board of Governors, members of the PTA Executive, class representatives, parents, teachers, family, and friends, and a very special good afternoon to the St. Hughes Preparatory School class of 2020. The end of a journey is a special time and a significant moment for reflection, remembering, for celebration, and for thanksgiving. Many of us might not remember anything really important all the way back in September 2011, but I know there is one date that is of interest to most of us here. That is September 6, 2011, when a new group of students joined the St. Hughes Prep family in what was then our pre-kindergarten class. A group of 21 students stepped onto our campus beaming, eager, and ready to take on a new journey together. Over the years, the group has changed and grown. We have welcomed new additions to the family and today we celebrate and give thanks for the successful completion of their journey at St. Hughes Prep. As we prepare to send them off, it is with satisfaction that these students have done well. This class has made us proud and once again, our children are beaming eager and ready to take on a new journey and a new challenge. As we come to this graduation, it is completely different from anything we have seen at St. Hughes Prep before. It is amazing how much has changed. What is even more amazing is how our students have worked with the changes, taking each one in stride, supporting each other, and even supporting their teachers. Our grade six students started this year enthusiastic about starting grade six to be the seniors in the senior department, to take on all the grade six responsibilities they had seen others take on before, but also a little anxious about what was to come. We did not know anything about COVID-19. And when it struck, when we closed our campus on March 12th with no idea about what to expect, all the dates we had memorized suddenly shifted and changed. And then to be told that everything was dependent on what had gone before. It seemed that all we were doing, all the preparations were in vain, but be encouraged students. No book you read, no formula you studied, no concept you mastered, no skill you practiced will ever be in vain. Each and every moment you spent preparing, studying and getting ready will be of great benefit to you as you move into the next stage of your educational journey. This afternoon, we are here to celebrate your achievements made through your hard work and determination. Although it would be easy to just focus on school since COVID-19, we must not forget all the good things that happened before. Our footballers who entered every competition scoring goal after goal and making us very proud in every match, placing first in our zone. Come on, let me hear it for the footballers, clap them. Our gymnasts, who represented us so well, both in Jamaica and all the way to Tampa Bay. 
or swimmers who have been finishing in the top five with individual swimmers who continue to score gold, silver, and bronze at every meet. I know I have some very dedicated and faithful swimmers in grade six. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes, from your cars, a round of applause. Our masters who are doing so well in the UE Junior Mathematical Olympiad. Let me hear it for our masters. Our quiz team that competed so fiercely in the Junior Schools Challenge quiz competition. Where is our quiz team? Let me hear those cars. Come on. Our chair club cheering all the way with their trophies held high. The chess club that continues to make positive strides. Where are those chess masters? I know, I know you are there and you have done very well. Let me hear it for our chess team. Our robotics team that journeyed to Hungary to represent Jamaica in the World Robot Olympiad. Where are those members of the robotics team? Let's hear a big round of applause for them. And our enrichment club who placed first once again in the DECA Idea Challenge where they use shoelaces to make the swan self-watering flower pot. Let me hear it for all the members of our enrichment club. You have done so well. What an awesome year it has been. I must share with you now how well our students, your children, did this year in their final primary exit profile, PEP results and placement. In the only exam the students did in grade six, the ability test, our average for the class was in the 97th percentile, which means they did better than 97% of their cohort nationally, with 13 students in the 100th percentile. This is a commendable achievement, and given that the ability test was weighted as 50% of the final placement score, our students' efforts in this assessment resulted in strong and encouraging results. 79% of our students were placed at their school of first, second, or third choice, with 42% being placed at their school of first choice. Let's give our students a big round of, a hall, of applause and perhaps a quietly honk your horn. This is a creditable achievement and accomplishment for this cohort and speaks to their strong academic ability, solid academic foundation, and exceptional academic potential. Congratulations and well done. I found a quote about teaching that said, when one teaches, two learn. We have seen that perhaps more clearly than ever before since March 12, when the school campus had to close. Our school did not close. And as our teachers worked with the new technologies, methods, and materials to teach and deliver content, they were learning so much. Each day, it became on-the-job training for our teachers, even as they worked to ensure a good classroom experience for their students. We must say a special thank you to Mrs. Taylor and Miss Young in grade six, who worked determinedly with our students before and after the online transition. Mrs. Taylor is a critical part of this final leg of the St. Hughes journey, preparing students not only for the final assessment, but also for this important transition. I know that there is much more she would have wanted to do, but I also saw the impact she had on the students in this class, and I witnessed her hard work and perseverance with our grade six students. Thank you, Mrs. Taylor. Our class teachers, along with Senor Gordon for Spanish and PE, Mrs. McNaughton for Art, and Mrs. Suku for Media Studies, and so much more, fully engaged the teaching and learning process as we all became students in this new online learning distance model that was used. And we all grew and developed in ways we could not have imagined. As we celebrate our graduating class this afternoon, please join me in thanking our teachers. I say a special thank you to the parents in this class. All of you have played significant roles during your time with us. You have given tremendous support to the school through your presence, participation, contributions, and yes, your criticisms, which have helped us to grow and develop. You have chaired for the teams, you have coached, counseled, chauffeured, sold tickets, cakes, brownies, and donuts, and maybe bought too many yourself, not to mention the fritters that have brightened many a Friday morning. You have been and will always be our family. I say thank you to our PTA, the executive for this year, led by Mr. Campbell and Mrs. Warren, grade six parents, and our dedicated class representatives, Marsha Smichael and Sharita Elliott in grade six.
Thank you to our administrative and ancillary staff. Thank you to the members of our Board of Governors. To all of you, we are grateful for your exemplary contributions this year. Education is a continual process. It's like a bicycle. If you don't pedal, you don't go forward. May we never stop learning. May we always be on the move, always moving forward, one step at a time, holding to each other's hands so that together we can build a community for our children that teaches them all that is right and good and pure and true and prepares them to be the best they can be wherever they go, fidelity. The lady who wears so many hats, the vice principal, the dean of discipline, the grade six teacher, Mrs. Pearl Taylor, will now present the graduating class of 2019-2020. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone here. Elizabeth Edwards, who was married to a former US Senator, remarked, resilience is accepting your new reality, even if it's less than the one you had before. You can fight it. You can do nothing but scream about what you've lost, or you can accept that and put together some things that good. 2019, 2020, leap year, pandemic year, unpredictable year, the year when we were faced with a series of curveballs and obstacles which required us to acquire and build new skills. Grade six became braver, built confidence, took big leaps and greater risks. We celebrated even small achievements and looked at everything as an opportunity rather than an obstacle. Someone described this year as a truly pandemic opportunity year. So without more to do, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you this amazing, extraordinary, committed, impressive graduating class of 2019-2020. To the graduating class, I say, Spread your wings and fly. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. But wait. Hold your breath for a while. We have something to say to Miss Young. Miss Young, I salute you for the good working relationship you established with me, students, and parents. Your flexibility, creativity, and organizational skills have been outstanding. Thank you for teaching me that the pen and the paper are useful tools, but that learning to access Zoom and other platforms are, are equally important. You have been truly my girl Friday. Thank you. Bring back all the memories. The memories bring back memories, bring back you. This is the time that I remember when I did not know a thing. 
When I was leaving it forever, and everything would stay the same, I'm gonna hold you like a sandbag, with somebody saying me. Cause I can't reach out to call you, but I know I will one day. Yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday, yeah, yeah. but everything will be alright. Lord, is the last thing to say, hey, yeah. kids are the ones that we got. Chase is the wish you were here, but you're not, because the big dreams have come memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones in the day. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way, because the dreams bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories, bring back you. <laughs> Martin Luther King would have started my dream, my dream. Breaking news, St. Hughes is on the front page news as the youth who will make sure that we achieve our 2030 vision for Jamaica, the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. Hello to each and every one of you, the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, young people. You are on your way to transition into another chapter of your life. And I am so honored to be able to address you today as the graduating class of 2020 on your way to high high school you rock yes and you rule my name is empress golding and i'm just so excited for each and every one of you because you know and i know that you are some of jamaica's most intelligent children with a brain in your head and can i get an amen you all have amazing brains can i get an amen okay you're all walking in your purpose because you have feet in your shoes and you can steer yourself in any direction that you choose. I believe in you and you too must believe in you. 
Now, you are entering a new phase in your life and it's a very, very scary very um transition because trying something new can be very intimidating um, for some people but trust me i have some advice for you that will help you to make the best out of the next phase of your life now first you have to dream where do you want to go you have the choice choose a direction ask yourself what are the goals you want to accomplish in high school and beyond right what about your personal development how do you want to grow how do you want to be better what kind of education do you want an education to work for somebody or an education that will allow you to own the next hotel the next supermarket the next engineering invention i don't know but you need to know what subjects and what kind of education you want to reach your goals let's look at social development how do you want to make jamaica and the world a better place how do you want to develop the social state of our people what can you do to contribute to that what about the economic growth of your country we have challenges how can you contribute to the economic growth in the next 10 to 15 years right you have had the best head start oh, come on you went to saint hughes you had the best start and the saint hughes teachers the staff and your parents want you to be in the best position in life so you can make the world a better place let's give them a round of applause for the contribution they have made to get you here today look at you they are so proud of you my young people you are in the best position to build healthy families and communities because you went to St. Hughes and you are on your way to greatness. Let me tell you something. You have the ability and the opportunity to build large enterprises, to build our economy, to help people. What is your plan for life? What is your plan for growth? You need to know it now because the next five years are going to be some of the most important years of your life to set you up now let me tell you I have been in your position and I know that it's not easy to navigate the waters of high school worse with COVID-19 and everything that has been going on it, it's a weird time but guess what you are going to make the world a better place when you get to the next step the next phase high school listen to me graduating class there's so many disturbing huh, news headlines murder and abuse we hear it every single day in this country and more than our own personal development and dreams we must think about our country and what we can do to contribute to the development and the growth of our people and our country we have to make sure that there's no more murder there's no more poverty poverty is a hellish state and we need to contribute to the success of the change we want to see right we have to contribute to finding solutions for the challenges the issues we see in our communities and in our country and i need you to dream big because a better jamaica is a better place for you so if jamaica no good you're not go good because we will always suffer from the illiterate from the wicked so we have to help our neighbor as well i have a really big dream for you graduating class of 2020 2030 is 10 years away from now most of you will be what 21 22 23 24 ask yourself who will i be what change will I bring in 2020? Let me tell you, you have the power and the ability, but you must dream big. Everything starts with a dream. Dream big, live it, and repeat it. Say it after me. Dream big, live it, and repeat it. Each individual action, each and every one of you have the power to affect the greater accomplishment and success of our communities and our country. And again, if we don't help the needy at the same time as helping ourselves, then we will be doomed, right? It's for example, if I, I want to live in a 2020 where I don't have to have grills on my home. But what does that mean? We have to help those who feel that their only way out is to rob and steal from me. And I have to find a way to lift them, lift them from that state 
so that we can all live in peace and harmony. So your individual action will contribute to the greater accomplishment and success of our Jamaica. Now, I put together some wise commandments um, developed from my experiences. I've been through heartbreak. I've been through ups and downs. You know, businesses have failed and, and businesses have been successful. I home trying to, you know, lift the lives of over 100 children care and it goes on and on and on and on. I do a lot of things and I contribute. I do service to my country. I'm also a media executive, so I'm doing what I love, but I'm also about social change. So I use my talents, I use my gifts and my passion and my dream to make it better for others and for myself. Now, we all want a happy life. We all want a nice, cushy job, a perfect family, um, financial stability, and a great social life, right? So, young people, here are some 10 commandments for you today to achieve those goals and to win the battle against illiteracy, depression, poverty, crime, abuse, and all of these things that we see around us every day. Remember, this is not about our own selfish gain, but our ancestors. It's about them who fought for us to live and for those who have made the commitment, the sacrifice, the gifts of support financially, emotionally to our achievements today, right? We must honor them, honor them by living our best life. And most importantly, our vulnerable of the society need us. So let us live our best life and reclaim the fallen of our society with these commandments that I live by. One, thou shalt show gratitude. The quality of being thankful. That's what gratitude is. The readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. My young people, God don't like ungrateful. God not like ungrateful people. So give thanks for what you have. Acknowledge the goodness in your life, right? And in this state right now, as we transition to the next phase, I want us to be in a state of gratitude. I want us all to Say yes to life. Say it after me. All right. So yes, young people, we are affirming that all in all, life is good and has the elements that make it not just worth living, but life is rich in texture and detail, right? Be grateful to other people as well, to the animals, to the world. Look around the trees, the birds. Be grateful. You know, recognize the goodness in our lives and remember to thank the universe and the people for what they have done and the sacrifices they have made to make us happy. Now, I ask you all, graduating class, what are you thankful for right now? It's important that you write it down and look at it when you are down and out, right? Um, we are better off than many people in this world. I have seen some people in the worst state, no opportunities, no parents, no one to give them a head start, no love, no sight, no limbs, no dreams, just down and out. But here we are today. We have an opportunity and we must be grateful. Everybody say, give thanks. All right. So commandment number two, thou shalt build partnerships. Simply teamwork makes a dream work and understand that no man is an island. We all need people. It's a human connection that drives success and happiness. So young people, find partners, people, peers who care about you. When somebody isn't lifting you up, then you just got to get rid of them. Stay with people who can help you to reach your goal, right? And have the same vision, passion, values, and morales that you share. That's where the human partnership starts to build on your dreams. Now, hmm, thou shalt execute commandment number three. When you take the next step, right? And you're going into high school, et cetera, do the work and do more that you, than you're asked to do. Stand out in the crowd, execute. Marcus Garvey, our first national hero said, a life, well, all life must be a useful plan that calls for daily serious work. The work that wrings the best from man, that cowards often shirk. Marcus Garvey. So when you go into high school, execute your work. Just do it. Don't procrastinate. Go into high school and sign up for different clubs and, and get involved. It looks good 
on your resume. It looks good when people want to give you an internship. It looks good when you're leaving and looking for scholarships that you were involved. When you get into an activity, just activity, just execute. The next one, thou shalt risk failure. Take a risk and be okay with the consequences of your failures. Consequences and failures are teachers and guides. Trust me, I have met, had many startups that I've executed and have failed miserably or failed happily because guess what? I learned from it and I learned not to go back there again. All right, so come on, number five. Thou shalt be on time. Do not waste time on an opportunity. One thing that drives me insane, especially when young people are looking for opportunities and they turn up late. That's an indication that you're not interested. So early is on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. So thou shalt be on time. Commandment number six, thou shalt market yourself. You know, your reputation is usually all you have. Your attitude determines your altitude. I remember growing up, my dad used to tell me that all the time. So if you have a bad attitude, then nobody's going to want to work with you, be around you. Watch what you do on social media and watch your digital footprint. That is an indication of who you are. All right. So market yourself in a positive light that represents where you want to be in your success journey, right? Or the destination that you are trying to reach. Make sure you market yourself along the way in all these spaces so that people will respond to you positively. Commandment number seven, thou shalt think big. <laughs> what man has done, man can do. Limitations are in our minds and hold us back. So thou shalt think big, 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 okay? Commandment number eight, thou shalt never stop learning oh my gosh no matter how old you you are no matter how much you studied you will always learn something i like to tell my mentees my friends and colleagues that every day before you go to bed at night every day you must have a lesson and when you go to bed you write down what was my lesson today you understand never stop stop learning and the good thing about these days nowadays your generation is that you have access to information. Read, 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 read more than what is put in front of you in school. There's so many conferences and seminars and, and short courses that you can just join online to boost your knowledge, right? When you boost your knowledge and you know more than your peers, you, you're a little bit more important when you step into different um, arenas. People who wanna hear from you. Ooh, this young man, this young woman is so knowledgeable. So thou shalt never stop learning and don't be afraid to let people know that you are informed step out of your comfort zone and learn 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 commandment number nine thou shalt say achoo i'm allergic to you whenever negative people come in your way simply say achoo i'm allergic to you we don't deal with negativity we don't deal with negativity in our social space we don't deal with it in our home we don't deal with it anywhere remove yourself from the situation when you see negative people or sneeze upon them all right sneeze upon them and give them the covid no <laughs> don't give them covid but you know what i'm saying thou shalt say achoo i'm allergic to negativity and commandment number 10 thou shalt turn a profit sometimes i see people like they're afraid to talk about money or making a lot of money don't be afraid of making a lot of money right if you are an honest person and you are giving back remember that you have to turn a profit and it takes cash to care. To execute a project, you need cash. You know, to be here today, it takes cash. To start a business, it takes cash. To further your education, it takes cash. Supermarket takes cash. Jamaica needs cash to survive. Jamaica needs money to boost its economy and the employability of our young people. So don't be afraid to turn over a profit so that you can invest back into your family, yourself, and your community, and at large, your country. In closing, I ask you to ask yourself, who am I? What do I stand for? And when I die, how do I want to be remembered, right? Whatever the answers are, it will help to guide you on the path to success, to the path that gives you a comfortable and happy life, because that's the life that I am living. 
because I know who I am, I know my values, and I stick true to them right so be the change agent my graduating class of st hughes 2020 represent a better jamaica because we all believe in you um let me read about you in the positive news let me grow old without iron bars on my home let us walk in peace let's grow the world you me your teachers your parents we are one big community and together we can make the world a better place. so go No confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won, even before you have started. Thank you for allowing me to be with you today. I am confident that you will become a success. And you in years to come 
They will roll down our cheeks or mushroom into a smile and be recalled as precious memories. There are so many enjoyable and wonderful events at St. Hughes, such as movie night, pajama day, fun day, boys day, and girls day. For more lunches, snacks, secrets, problems, triumphs, and laughter share. How could we ever forget? We worked hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to all our teachers who so unselfishly shared their time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job to do it, but what you did for us went above and beyond the call of duty. Our grade six year, however, will always be our most outstanding memory. The year started off with us gearing up for PEP, which we thought would have been the most difficult hurdle. That suddenly, suddenly became so much less significant when we had to figure out which gear to shift into and in which direction to go as we navigated through the COVID-19 Zoom roads. Fortunately for us, our teachers, Mrs. Taylor and Ms. Keon, directed traffic with great reliability, compassion, and good humor. So we were able to continue the journey with smiles firmly etched on our faces. Parents, thanks for supporting us in more ways than is possible to count. You dragged us out of bed each morning when you would have preferred to stay in. You helped with homework and listened to complaints. You cheered us when we succeeded and bit your nails off during the uncertainty of online learning and pet to be or not to be. These are just a few of the thousands of ways you supported us on our journey. Mr. Harding, thanks for keeping our school clean and safe. Mr. Coombs, you also keep us safe, but you provide so much more than security. We thank auxiliary staff for the patient exercise when we sent in our lunch order late, with dozens of pencils returned by Miss Dawn, and we will always remember Mr. Yuto's salt fish skittles and lemonade. Mrs. Wright, you kept things running smoothly, even when we were sure we must have been distracted by our noise which floated into the office. Mrs. Hilton and Miss Gray, you have been patient, long-suffering towers of strength, even when inundated by typing and photocopying permission slips and non pass giving documents. As we bid you goodbye, we're leaving so full of life, energy, curiosity, and wonder. What an amazing time we have had here. What an amazing class we have been. I know you're sad to see us go, and we are sad to go. But you have given us the green light. We venture off knowing that life is about growing, and even when we outgrow our shoes, new pairs provide exciting new opportunities to continue growing and learning new skills. With brains in our head and feet in our shoes, we can steer ourselves in any direction we choose. At last, the moment we have been waiting for, the introduction of graduates by Mrs. Taylor and the presentation of certificates and special awards. The following students have a grade average of 85% or above in each of their core subjects and no grade below 50% in special subjects. They will receive a certificate of academic achievement. Amy Crum Ewing. Amy's great mind involves a leap of imagination. Amy believes that her efforts matter. She views failures as a learning experience, and she has learned the art of talking nonstop under her breath without even being 
Court. Amy from Ewing. First on this list is Amy from Ewing. She also receives certificates in art and physical education, and she is being recognized for punctuality. When coming into grade six, the only thing I can really tell you is to be prepared. Be prepared to work as hard as you possibly can and not notice the outcome until the end. But trust me, it's definitely worth it. Kale Springer, the charmer, full of smiles, oh so pleasant, oh so handsome, always there to lend a helping hand, Kale Springer. Kale Springer, for social studies, science and physical education, and he is being recognized for determination and perseverance. My source of strength for prep school was my mother. She helped me out a lot during my time at St. Thomas. Leanne Harvey, known to everyone.
Leanne Harvey, known to everyone as Half Bank. This girl is on fire. She's got both feet on the ground and she's burning. Oh, she's got her head in the clouds and she's not backing down. Resilient, determined, energetic. Leanne Half Bank Harvey. Leanne Half. She has earned certificates in mathematics, science, and physical education. She receives a special award for cooperation and helpfulness. One word I was used to describe myself at the end of this journey is successful. I feel successful because I have accomplished everything that I have wanted to during these two years of absence. Nathan Daly, hiding in plain sight. He once was grade six's DJ, but he gave it up for his PJs. Still we know that when he has donned all these, he comes riding on his black steed to save damsels in distress. Nathan Daly. Nathan Daly. Nathan also receives certificates in science, social studies, and physical education, as well as a special award for cooperation and helpfulness. Something I would say, something I would say to the future grade six class is to be prepared for anything what could happen. Folk, uh, um, try your best and never give up.
Joel Dodd. In moments of stress, he's at fun, enjoys a pun. He sees things from a totally different angle and is able to laugh at himself. Joel Dodd. Joel Dodd. Also for mathematics, language arts, social studies, science, and physical education. Joel has earned for himself the Dean of Disciplines Award. It takes a lot of resilience to get from, from where you started the journey to grade six because it can be hard work and, many, and it can also be very treacherous for most people. But I managed to make it to the end of the journey. Jaden Thomas. Jaden is a marvel. Shakespeare or a Michelangelo. He has the capacity for anything good. Heights rise high against the wind, not with it. Don't doubt your value. Don't run from who you are. Jaden Thomas. Jaden Thomas. And he has earned certificates in science and physical education. He's also being recognized for determination and perseverance, as well as punctuality. My social strength this year was Miss Taylor. Even though I was not that much of talking in class or being participative, she never gave up on me. She always encouraged me to talk more and participate more. And in the end, I did, so.
Jessica Sunshine Williams. Happy smiles, happy talk, happy girl. If you don't talk happy, you may never have a dream. Happy talk, happy girl, making all the music she can make. Smiling, happy girl, Jessica Sunshine Williams. Jessica Williams, and she has done good work this year in mathematics, language arts, science, and physical education. She receives the Dean of Discipline Awards as well as the Award for the Sportswoman of the Year. My teachers um, especially have helped me to grow more as a person and has shaped me into the person I am in now, I am right now and I'm very thankful for that and without my friends I wouldn't be how I am today and I really appreciate all of them. Joshua Johnson. Great wisdom does not come from sitting quietly. Oh no. Tell everybody he's on his way. New friends and new places to see with a new school ahead. Yes, he's on his way. Football and cricket bat in his hands. Joshua Johnson. Joshua Johnson and he has earned certificates in language arts, science, art and physical education. He also receives the MK Award for Art and the Sportsman of the Year Award. 
strength this year was um, honestly Miss Young because she was the most who pushed me to do my work mostly and she get, she gave me a lot of time to do my work even though I didn't send it in on time. She was very lenient on me while, when I was doing my work and she wasn't pushy. So she was my source of strength this year. Amarachi, Amarosa Kamalu, the cool kid. She doesn't want to be the popular kid. She just wants to be a good kid. Never gets ruffled, not a part of the crowd. This cool kid doesn't want to be like anyone else. She just wants to be herself. Amarachi, Amarosa Kamalu. And for her outstanding work, she receives certificates in language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Amarachi is being recognized for determination and perseverance, as well as punctuality. One word I would describe um, myself at the end of the journey would be a conqueror because I've been through thick and thin and um, no matter the situation I was very persevering um, um, I was committed to get the job done Sarah Ann Forsyth, Prefect. She believes that silence is more effective than angry words. She believes that when nothing goes right, she needs to go left. She is determined not to allow the ugly in others to kill the beauty in her. Sarah Ann Forsyth. Sarah Ann Forsyth, and she receives certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, art, and physical education. Sarah Ann receives also the Dean of Disciplines Award, as well as a special award for punctuality. What I would use to describe myself is strong because I pushed through 
everything and made it this far in my grade in my year my years at that time. Even having to ask a question. To be a funny person, you can smile and laugh over issues. Miss it for two sides. Nick is indeed a charmer, sophisticated, enchanting, and lovable. Dominic Cowan. Dominic Cowan. And he has earned certificates in science, social studies, and physical education. Dominic is being recognized for quality. Something that I overcame. Over issues, mistakes, or humorous comments. Dominic is indeed a charmer, sophisticated, enchanting, and lovable. Dominic Cowan. Dominic Cowan. And he has earned certificates in science, social studies, and physical education. Dominic is being recognized for cooperation and helpfulness, also for punctuality. Something that I overcame is when I first came to St. Hughes and I was very shy and at the moment I was about to cry because I was sad that I was leaving my old school. But Miss Drummond and other children in the class comforted me and I got into the class the first time I stepped in because everybody was welcoming me. This next category of students has an annual grade average of 90% or above in each of their core subjects and no grade below 50% in special subjects. The students will receive a certificate of academic excellence. Daniel Staple, Miss Fashionista, Fashion Conscious, Trendsetter, 
in the know about top class designers. See her for all your fashion needs. Daniel Staple. Daniel Staple. She has earned certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, and physical education. Daniel is being awarded the Dean of Disciplines Award. My source of strength this year is my mother because she, she told me and helped me with everything I did this year, especially in homeschool. She helps me with everything I've been doing, especially when there are like blackouts or the night. She Tiana Warren, Queen of the Galaxy or Drama Queen of Grade 6. I'm strong. I'm resilient. I may be broken for a while, but that's okay. I am working on me. I'm a queen. My soul is royalty, so I can walk through hell and still I rise. Tiana Warren. Tiana Warren. And she will receive certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, and physical education. Tiana also receives a special mathematics award. The place where I found the most comforting thing to use was the media studies room. And that's because there were a lot of books I could read and just relax. And I could use the computers for research and for other purposes.
Cruz Gal, the spunky one, high spirited and brave, dynamic, the bookworm who appears lost in the intricacies of his novel, sees no one, hears no one, speaks to no one, for he has fallen deeply into his imagined world, forgetting that there's anything other than him and the world in his hands. Cruz Gal. Cruz Gal. And for his good work, he receives certificates in language arts, social studies, science, and physical education. Cruz is being recognized for determination and perseverance and receives a special award for consistent and avid reader. For the coming grade six, I would definitely have to tell them that they would have to come with an open mind, not to think anything too negative, to come thinking positively. Jace Jam. The artist, the multitasker, shifting his perspective before you can change yours. Jace Jarrett. Jace Jarrett. And Jace receives certificates for his good work this year in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Jace also receives a special award for mathematics as well as the bishop's certificate for overall improvement. Um, going into high school, I would describe myself as smarter than when I first came here. And I found the most comfort in the library where I could read and draw uh, during break. Carlo Chinloy, Prefect. She has so much to say 
but prefers to delay. She is processing her ideas. Don't rush me, her expression seems to say. I'm thinking thoroughly through the issue. Give me some time. Give me some space. I know all will be fine. I'm not in a race. Harlow Chinlor. Harlow Chinlor. She received certificates for mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Harlow receives the Dean of Disciplines Award as well as an award for outstanding academic achievement. Some strengths that I'm taking to high school with me are self-confident, resilient, and great because I think that they they're very important attributes that you, that you need for high school and and the wider world. Asia Angwin, Madam Butterfly. Happiness is a butterfly. Asia is a butterfly. Flitting here, flitting there. Free spirited, alert and without fear. Steadfast and committed. Asia Angwin. Asia Angwin. And Asia has earned for herself certificates in mathematics language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Asia is being recognized for her determination and perseverance. She also receives an, a special award for outstanding academic achievement. My source of strength this year is my grandmother because she encouraged me to be persistent and to
Gabriella Campbell, nutritionist, CEO of the Weight Loss and Wellness Center. Your healthiest summer starts now. Get your customized weight loss plan, the latest nutritional and behavioral science to build healthy habits for life. Start your wellness journey and sign up today www.weightloss.com Gabriella Campbell Gabriella Campbell and Gabriella has done good work this year in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art and physical education. She receives an Orator's Award, an award for cooperation and help the MK Award for Outstanding Artist, as well as the Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. Some of the strengths that I'll be taking to high school with me are my determination, personality, my positivity, and a semi-open mind. Strengths will make it easier in high school as they will allow me to look at the brighter side, persevere and not be so negative when I experience something new or different. Ethan James, one of the main attributes of grit is perseverance. And from whom did he learn about it? His teacher, of course. But what happens when the teacher becomes discouraged and says, I feel like giving up? Turn the tables on her as Ethan did. Keep going, miss. You can't give up on you. You have to have grit that you taught us about. Who then is the motivator? Ethan James. Ethan James. And Ethan has earned certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, and physical education. His special awards are the Orator's Award, the Award for Determination and Perseverance, also the Bishop's Certificate for Overall Improvement. My source strengths for this year would be my teacher, Miss Taylor, who really um, helped me out this year to just see how much I really can do and has really brought my confidence up to see that I can do so much more than what I thought I could do. But what happens when the teacher becomes discouraged and says, I feel like giving up? Turn the tables on her as Ethan did. Keep going, miss. You can't give up on you. You have to have grit that you taught us about. Who then is the motivator? Ethan James. Ethan James. And Ethan has earned certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, and physical education. 
His special awards are the Orators Award, the Award for Determination and Perseverance, also the Bishop's Certificate for Overall Improvement. My source strengths for this year would be my teacher, Ms. Taylor, who really um, helped me out this year to just see how much I really can do and has really brought my confidence up to see that I can do so much more than what I thought I could do. Real Linguist Bertrand, Prefect, mindful of the spoken word. Her field covers a wide range of topics, specializing in phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, grammar, semantics, and historical language. Don't mess with her spoken or written word. Rhea Bertrand. Rhea Bertram, and Rhea has done good work this year in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, and physical education. Rhea gets the Orators Award, an award for cooperation and helpfulness, the award for consistent and avid reader. She also receives the award for outstanding academic achievement. So, um, what I would want to say to the next grade six class is that be yourself but do it respectfully and trust your teachers because they're only trying to do the best for you. Work hard, but stay hard. Taylor Henry, balanced and calm, grounded and alert. She has no time for small talk, too busy unraveling math terms that are running through her head. Make sure you're right or you'll get a fight. She's not backing down. She's not giving down because 
it is always right. Jailer Henry. Jailer Henry. And for her good work this year, she receives certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. She's being recognized for her determination and perseverance. She also gets the Mathematics Award, the Dean of Disciplines Award, and an award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. My fondest memory at St. Jude's, I think, was my first day of grade six because I was really nervous and I remember when I walked in Miss Taylor realized how nervous I was and she told me that she didn't eat children on a Monday. The following students have a grade average of 95% or above in each of their core subjects and no grade below 50% in their special subjects. They are on the principal's honor roll. Isabel Dodd. Deputy Head Girl. The math problem has been posed. Some students are stressing out. Others are going bald. But look, Isabel's hand shuts up. The math whiz with her computation skills, her problem solving strategies, her inferential thinking, deductive reasoning skills, and bingo, she's got it. Problem solved in no time. Isabel Dodd. Isabel Dodd. Isabel has also earned certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Isabel's special awards are the Orator's Award, the Mathematics Award, an award for outstanding academic achievement. And Isabel also receives the Vice Principal's Trophy for Citizenship, as well as the Student of the Year Award for 2019-2020. At the end of being at St. Hughes, I describe myself as perseverant because I pushed through all challenges that came through my, my way. Even though I fell sometimes, I jumped right back up. I didn't just wait there on the ground for someone to help me. I jumped up by myself. So I'd also describe myself as resilient because although I push through all challenges, sometimes you have to fall. But when you fall, the matter is getting back up, not staying there. And when at the end of this year, I can look back and be proud of myself for pushing through all the challenges, overcoming everything that came in my way. And I'm not going to let that stop me from being the person who I am.
Anna Freeman. Edgar. She struts into class with her many bags full of knowledge. Smart, witty, intellectual. Classroom attorney. Classroom Google. Classroom thesaurus. Thinks out of the box. But where's the box? Never backs down. Tenacious with her views. I wonder, how does her brain hold so much? Aliana Freeman, Edgar. Aliana Freeman, and she has earned certificates for her good work in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Aliana's special awards are the Orators Award, an award for cooperation and helpfulness, the Lloyd Samuels Music Award, the Mathematics Award. Ariana also receives an award for outstanding academic achievement and she is our second student of the year for 2019-2020. Never give up nor give in because when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel so never give up on your dreams or whatever you're doing even if there's an obstacle in your way.
Queen Victoria Bailey, Senior Prefect, the organizer, the girl with the routines, the girl with the to-do list, purging the clutter of her teacher's desk, believing in a place for everything, dotting all her I's and crossing all her T's, correcting your incorrect grammar and pronunciation. Be on the alert for her. Victoria Bailey. Victoria Bailey. And Victoria has earned certificates in mathematics, language arts, science, social studies, art, and physical education. Victoria's special awards are the Orators Award, an award for cooperation and helpfulness, the MK Award for Outstanding Artist, an award for punctuality, the Dean of Disciplines Award, the Mathematics Award. Victoria also receives an award for outstanding academic achievement and she is our third student of the year for 2019-2020. So the strength that I will be taking to high school is doing everything to the best of my ability, no matter what the situation is or the circumstance. I will do everything that I get to the best of my ability. That's what I'll be taking to high school with me. And one word to describe myself at the end of this journey would be accomplished because I made it to the end of the journey successful and I did everything I needed to do to be here. That's why I say accomplished. The most class comforted me, and I got into the class. A special award for one word I was used to describe myself at the end of this journey is successful. I feel successful because I have accomplished everything that I have wanted to during these two years of that sense.
I know we have all been enjoying this afternoon's proceedings. Unfortunately, though, it has not been without some technical difficulties. Now, this caused a few of our students not to be featured. So we are going to allow them now to take their walk up to the red carpet once again. And this, we hope, will be streamed successfully. Nathan Daly, hiding in plain sight. He once was grade six's DJ, but he gave it up for his PJs. Still we know that when he has donned all these, he comes riding on his black steed to save damsels in distress. Nathan Daly. Nathan Daly. Nathan also receives certificates in science, social studies, and physical education, as well as a special award for cooperation and helpfulness. Something I would say, something I would say to the future lyrics class is to be prepared for anything what could happen. For uh, um, try your best and never give up. Joel Dodd. In moments of stress, he's at his best. He is so much fun, enjoys a pun. He sees things from a totally different angle and is able to laugh at himself. Joel Dodd. Joel Dodd. Also for mathematics, language arts, social studies, science, and physical education. Joel has earned for himself the Dean of Disciplines Award. It takes a lot of resilience to get from, from where you start the journey to grade six because it can be hard work and many, and it can also be very treacherous for most people, but I managed to make it to the end of the journey. Dominic Cowan. Charm is getting people to say yes without even having to ask them a question. To be a charming person, you can smile and laugh over issues, mistakes, or humorous comments. Dominic is indeed a charmer, sophisticated, enchanting, and lovable. Dominic Cowan.
Dominic Cowan, and he has earned certificates in science, social studies, and physical education. Dominic is being recognized for cooperation and helpfulness, also for punctuality. Something that I overcame is when I first came to St. Hughes and I was very shy and at the moment I was about to cry because I was sad that I was leaving my old school but Miss Drummond and other children in the class comforted me and I got into the class the first time I stepped in because everybody was welcoming me. I wonder. Aliana Freeman. Aliana Freeman. And she has earned certificates for her good work in mathematics, language arts, science, award for cooperation and helpfulness. The Lloyd Samuels Music Award. The Mathematics Award. Agility. Graduation Committee did our graduation committee. That's why I say
all of the staff here at St. Jude's would like to express our gratitude to the great six parents. Your support has been invaluable. Parents who have won many extra matters. We would like to present certificates of recognition to them for their outstanding contribution and support. They are Marcia Spiker, Mrs. Stacy James, Mr. Kevin Campbell, Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Warren. I need to breathe. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, man. So I'm going to be right. A pleasant good evening to the Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Patrick McIntosh, other board members tuning in, our principal, Mrs. Sasha Wright. Vice Principal Mrs. Pearl Taylor, teachers, administrative staff, parents, visitors, and the St. Hughes Prep family. It is indeed a pleasure for us to respond on behalf of the graduation committee this evening. This year has been an interesting and challenging one to say the least. The entire world and the SHPS family were all affected with the onset of COVID-19 in March of 2020. We all had to change gears and life as we knew it changed for many of us. The graduation committee did our very best to continue with our plans amidst all the challenges faced by the new realities faced by our students, parents, and teachers. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to the SHPS family for pulling out all the stops to ensure that the last four months culminating with this evening's event would be memorable for our students. Thanks in particular to the SHPS admin staff, who graciously obliged us and granted all our requests, regardless of how petty they may have seemed at times, and did so with the utmost professionalism. Mrs. Coney, Mrs. Hilton, and Miss Gray, we thank you. To Mrs. Wright, Mrs. Taylor, and Miss Young, we appreciate all your efforts. The parents and students felt supported during the year, especially during the last term of school. Special mention to the following committees. The SHPS Graduation Oversight Committee, chaired by Mrs. Wright, Mrs. McNaughton, Mrs. Hilton, Mrs. Heppel, Mrs. Suku, and Mrs. Taylor, thank you for your guidance. We benefited immensely from your experience and expertise. The graduation committee represented by 
Jillian Warren, our chairperson extraordinaire, Deborah Dodd, our efficient and strict budget holder, Cecilia Daly, Leisha Forsyth, Abiola Bertram, our hardworking PTA president, Caden Campbell, Sharita Elliott, and Marsha Smichael. The magazine committee represented by editor-in-chief and chairperson Marsha Smichael, Deborah Kamalu, Sharita Elliott, Trixie McMillan, Marjorie Johnson, and Leisha Forsyth. Thank you for always being present. Proofreaders extraordinaire, Trixie and Marjorie, thank you. This was indeed a labor of love. With the challenges faced by the business community and the fallout in Jamaica's economy, we were all forced to downsize our activities. Nevertheless, there were parents who still went above and beyond to support us, to ensure that we would still have a great event and to be able to deliver on our promises. For that, we are extremely grateful. I would like to make special mention of the following parents and family members. Mrs. Gillian Warren, the graduation no-nonsense but very gracious chairperson who followed through with all the plans and held the committee members accountable every step of the way. We are not sure how well this would have all come together without Gillian's help. Lots of gratitude and appreciation for her efforts. A special thank you to Mrs. Deborah Kamalu, who has been consistently supportive of all our efforts in many ways and for her magazine sponsorship through her company, Video Access Security Solutions. Thank you to Frank James, rep representing Grace Kennedy, who has consistently supported the St. Hughes Prep community and never hesitated at the first mention of our request for sponsorship. Mr. Dion Staple, representing Proactive Lifestyle, who also at the first request followed through with alacrity so we could meet our timelines. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Michael Green, even during extremely challenging times for business, you rose to the occasion when approached for sponsorship representing 1888 RECA. Gillian Warren for securing sponsorship from the National Housing Trust within a very short request window and Patrick Warren, AKA Uncle Patrick for his unwavering support throughout the years and his sponsorship with an advert for our magazine. Miss Marsha Smichael for her support through her advert sponsorship representing EIMS, the brainchild of the graduation magazine committee. Marsha and her team worked tirelessly to ensure that they would have a production that we would all be proud of. Last but not least, Mrs. Leisha Forsyth, who supported both the graduation and magazine committees. Leisha offered herself in every way to ensure everything went well. Leisha was always available to assist. We cannot thank her enough for her support. Special commendation to the teachers, Ms. Harrison and Ms. Spence. Thank you for your work with the quiz team. Mrs. Suku and Senor Gordon, your work with the robotics team was all outstanding. We thank you all very much. Thanks to all the other parents and teachers who supported the committee, the students and the parents in various ways throughout the year. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. We really appreciate all that you have done to make this the great year that it was for our students. Oh. 
So I'm going to mute back to my mic now. Back to you. This afternoon has been a memorable and wonderful occasion, and we are honored to be here and to express our sincere gratitude to all those of you who contributed to make this most historic and unique function a great success. We would like to thank our guest speaker for her words, which will continue to inspire us for a long time to come. We extend also our sincere thanks to all our guests who took the time to share in this special occasion, whether virtually or live. Our technical team, Mrs. Suku, Ms. Harrison, Ms. Spence, Mr. Gordon, and Mr. White, who have worked tirelessly to make sure all the technical details were taken care of and an interesting and visually appealing program delivered in fine SHPS style. Here, do we make you proud? You have been a tower of strength to us. We could not have done without you. We salute you. Mrs. McNaughton, Mrs. Barnett Williams, and Mrs. Heppel. Your combined talent is evident in the beauty which surrounds us here this afternoon. We thank you. Mrs. Wright, you started at St. Hughes Prep the same year that most of us started in K1. And as our principal, you have played a tremendous role in our lives here at school. You kept us firmly on the right path, but did it with love and understanding. We cannot thank you enough. Mrs. Hilton, Ms. Gray, and Ms. Coney. We have been overloading you all year through, and yet you remain presently ready and willing. To all our teachers who took a firm grip on the wheel when we needed it, and let us go so we could stare ourselves in the direction we chose when we were able, we say a special thank you. In particular, Mrs. Taylor and Ms. Young, there aren't enough words to express how grateful we are to you for all you have done for us over the past year. We couldn't close without acknowledging the ancillary staff for all they have done to help make our journey through St. Hughes as smooth as possible. Please put your hands together or more appropriately under present circumstances, give a thumbs up to help us show our heartfelt appreciation to all those who helped us, not only on this occasion, but throughout our time here at St. Hughes. We thank you.
Thank you.